Hello everyone, Pixelip here for a brand new video. Today we have a video that is part blog or part vlog and part tutorial. So I, I'm gonna get to that in just a second, but before we start, I just want to thank you guys so much for 15 thousand subscribers it's been insane how much we've been growing recently and i just want to thank you guys so so much for the growth it's been crazy thank you guys so much for each and every one of you who has subscribed and stuck with me from the very beginning so uh yeah um a few things i want to say is that 15,000 subscribers came a lot earlier than expected so i was not able to deliver the actual special that i had in mind which is probably going to come out next week it's going to be something very very awesome <laughs> um so uh i decided to do something else instead so the most recommended video on my channel is almost certainly a tutorial on how to install Pixelmon. Now there are a lot of other tutorials out there, but I tried my best to get a um, very very good one of the newest version of Pixelmon out for all of you guys. So uh, at first my recorder or my um, what I used was OBS. I tried to get it to use the whole screen. My computer was not compatible with it, and I spent about two hours researching um, any possible fix to it, and there was none. So that's why I had ruled it out in the past. But then today I had an idea. I decided I would use one of the other computers in my house and my house and install it and uh, record it and then transfer all the files to this computer and then record a vo voiceover and mix up the track. Now it was a lot of work, but um, I hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial. Um, it will kind of sound kind of shaky, but um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, before we start the tutorial on how to install the newest version of Pixelmon, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much once more for the 15,000 subscribers and answer a few questions that all of you, or a very large percent of you, a percentage of you have been asking me. So first one, where is Pixelmon Park 2.0? Um, oh. So Pixelmon Park 2.0 has is still in beta we've been working on it pretty hard i haven't much, had much time because of school um but the server has been under a lot of uh glitching because the newest version of pixelmon or actually the newest version of forge or the forge in general is not very server friendly which is why almost no servers at all have updated to 1.8 um mods so uh yeah that kind of complicates a lot of um, stuff makes the server um, we, we have to have custom plugins and everything that work specifically with it but well I'll get it to work eventually it's just gonna take a little while longer second thing where is pixel and randomizer pixel and randomizer is not gone it is indeed coming this week so the reason it was um, not uploaded for two weeks was because um, there were a lot of, um, well, a lot of us had school and were really busy, and a lot of us were away on holidays for periods of times uh, during the time, so we could not record. But um, a new episode's coming very, very soon, and it's going to be very, very awesome. Be hyped. So yeah, anyways, with that, um, I just want to say, look out for part two of this subscriber special, which is coming fairly soon, and it's going to be something very, very awesome. Um, but in the meantime, hope you guys did enjoy this video and um, let's get right into the main part of it which is the tutorial on how to install Pixelmon. Hello everyone! Today I am going to show you guys how to install the Pixelmon mod for the Minecraft launcher. So uh, yeah, today um, we're just on the Pixelmon mod for now, but I'm going to show you guys the first step. So head into your Minecraft launcher and go ahead and create a new profile. So rename that profile to whatever you want, I'd say like Pixelmon because that makes it simpler and then go ahead and hit save when you are done making that new profile. This is just going to help you organize it, organize it, you don't necessarily have to do it. Then just select the profile and you are good to go for now. So the next step will be um, to go on to the Pixelmon website. Now on the Pixelmon website, uh, this is on the downloads page, you're going to want to download the newest pic version of Pixelmon. Now the newest version currently is Pixelmon 4.0.7, so you want to hit that small little download button now pop up with a either ad focus page or a um i forgot what the other one is but it's gonna come up with something you're gonna want to skip the ad it's gonna open a pop-up you're gonna click away on that pop-up and then you are gonna be download uh, redirected to the pixelmon downloads page so on this page you'll have the featured video and then you'll have a timer once that timer is done 
you'll see a green button and I'll say download Pixmon 4.0.7. So um, we've actually already downloaded it because it takes quite a while to download. Um, so it's right there downloading with a little bit of time left. But in the meantime, you're going to want to click on the latest version of Forge from the Pixmon page. So um, it will tell you the recommended version and you just click on that and it'll bring you right to the link to where you can download Forge. So now you're going to want to skip this as well and then you are going to want to let that forge download so uh yeah remember that there will be a lot of as i say internet traps these um are internet things that will try to get you to click on fake download things so beware of those so we're just gonna let forge um wait for the download it's gonna take a little while because um it's after forge is downloaded it seems to lag out a bit but don't worry if that happens to you, it is completely normal. So it is about to be downloaded, and then once it has been downloaded, oh, we just canceled it because we had already um, a previous version of Forge. We're going to click and open that, and then it's going to launch it. It may be slow, depending on your computer speed, but it's going to pop up with a thing saying Minecraft um, Forge, and it's going to look exactly like this. So you're going to want to click Install Client, and then you are going to want to click OK. So um, that's pretty much all you have to do, and once you do that, don't click Install Server unless you want to set up a Pixmon server, but we'll assume that you don't want to do that for now. Um, just experiencing a little bit of lag here. You want to click OK, and then it's going to start downloading the Forge version. Okay, so now that's done, you can focus on the better part of this, the downloading the Pixmon mod. So now you're going to want to select the drop-down version of Forge. It should be all the way at the bottom, so the way you do this is edit your profile and go to the version and scroll all the way down and click on the Forge version 1.8. Um, and then it should say the Forge version after that. So then you're going to want to hit um, Save Profile, and then you'll be done. After that, you're going to want to open your game DIR. It says Open Game DIR, and go into your newly created mods folder. Now this should appear. If it does not appear, be sure to relaunch Minecraft or launch Minecraft, close it down, and then do the same thing. Open Game DIR and do this. Now, um, the on the computer I'm using, there is already a mods folder, so I'm just going to copy the mods folder so I don't interfere with that, and then delete all the contents of the previous mod folder. And then, now that the mod folder is empty, we can drag the Pixmon that we downloaded inside of it. So we're just going to do that quickly. It may take a little while to transfer, depending on your computer speed. All this is really depending on your internet and computer speed. But then, it should be done. So, uh, yeah, then you want to hit Save Profile, um, and then you're going to want to hit Play. So, yeah, um, now that we are back, it does take a long time to launch Minecraft on this computer, so I just skip that part. We are back with the Minecraft. Now, you can check your mods. You will have picks all the um, Minecraft Coder Pack, Minecraft Forge Loader, um, the Minecraft Forge mods, essentially, and Pixelmon. So, you can click Multiplayer if you want, if you find any servers, but for now, we're just going to focus on single players. So, then you want to create a new world if you want, and then go ahead, call it Pixelmon or whatever, to test it out, and then go... In it. I'm just going to turn it onto creative so I can spawn in a Pokemon and show you guys that Pixelmon does indeed work. On this computer, I did disable starters, or the person who owns it did, so we shall not receive a starter page. So it's, the screen's going to take a little while to download. Let's just skip through that. Hey guys, Pixeldip here. So, um, the computer I was using, I did record me opening the Minecraft. It took a while, but then the footage was unfortunately lost, so I decided I would just um, do a recording on my own computer and say um, that all you have to do is really open a world and then the possibilities of Pixmon shall become endless and no longer limited to whatever and you can have fun. So yeah, that is how you download the Pixmon mod. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, for daily Pixmon content, I have Pixmon role plays, I have Pixmon like competitive series, I have Pixmon um, server series, Pixmon survival series, and more! So definitely be sure to subscribe for that. And uh, yeah, um, if you did enjoy, as I said, please leave a like and comment your thoughts um, down below. Anyways, so yeah, I'm Pixeldip, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!